The colonization of space has always been a dream of ours for some time. I mean, think about it. All the major sci-fi movies are based on us exploring the stars. Star Wars, Star Trek, Dune, you name it. And while we might be light years away from that level of space exploration, we have always figured that Mars would be the first step, or at least we thought so. While Mars is typically the first planet most think of when it comes to colonization, there is another equally, if not better, candidate in our very own solar system, Saturn's moon, Titan. Now, while there is no known planet with the same environmental complexities and capabilities as Earth, we have found a few that are just maybe close enough. Mars, for example. It holds the resemblance of a once lush and green planet with a massive ocean. Now it's mostly desert and rock, with some ice caps. But while most planets seem too old for us to inhabit, as is the case with Mars, Titan may be the first we've discovered that is too young. This terrifying new discovery on Titan changes everything. Titan. Saturn's moon, Titan. Recently, we found something very strange in the orange clouds. Something so bizarre and unique that it got NASA involved. With the billions of stars in the universe, NASA typically gets involved in most discoveries. That is, unless it's life-altering. As the case with Titan. This new discovery has got NASA plotting a brand new mission with the sole purpose of investigating this mystery further. What could this thing be? Why is it so important? And why did we only just recently discover it? All questions that I'm sure you want answered. But first, we need a quick rundown on this incredible moon, Titan. So, real quick, some fun facts about Titan. This great moon is tidally locked to its home planet Saturn, which is 759,000 miles away from it. It has a radius of about 1,600 miles, which is considered to be fairly big by moon standards. It takes Titan 15 days and 22 hours to make a full orbit around Saturn, and 29 Earth years to make a complete orbit around the Sun. And last but certainly not least, it has the very rare feature of an atmosphere. The thick atmosphere of Titan is four times that of Earth's, but also the atmospheric pressure is about 60% greater. For your information, in comparison, our solar system is home to 150 moons. Of those 150, only four of them have an atmosphere, Titan being one of those four. You see, Titan is the second largest moon in our solar system and the largest moon that belongs to Saturn. More so, Titan is the only place in the solar system other than the planet Earth that has liquids on its surface. The weather cycle there is very similar to ours, except it rains frozen liquid methane and ethane. Because of its striking resemblance to Earth, Titan could be the best place for human colonization. In fact, the conditions on Titan are good enough for us to build a long-term, self-sustaining human settlement. Because of its atmospheric pressure, it would feel equivalent to swimming 50 feet underwater. It sounds scary, I know, but this would mean that humans wouldn't need to wear bulk pressurized suits to walk around on the surface, and with the thick atmosphere, deadly radiation from the sun or space wouldn't be able to reach us. In layman's terms, it means that Titan is a safe environment for humans. The people of Titan would be able to bounce around great distances because of Titan's low gravity. Considering it only has 14% of Earth's gravity, if you wanted to glue some wings and feathers on yourself, you could literally fly around under your own power. Sounds like paradise, right? Well, not exactly. Titan is very, very cold. On average, the Moon sits about 886 million miles away from the Sun, with a surface temperature of minus 290 degrees. While you may not need a pressurized suit, you would need to bundle up. A lot. Any sunlight that would reach you would give you just about as much warmth as a sunset on Earth would, so none. On top of all that, you would need to wear a respirator to breathe or your lungs would freeze instantly. C3H2 Now, back to the question at hand. What was that terrifying discovery that put Titan under the microscope? Well, a team of scientists identified a molecule called cyclopropeneldine or C3H2, in Titan's atmosphere. This is big news because this molecule has never been detected anywhere else except in deep space. Discovered using the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, ALMA. ALMA is made of 66 radio antennas that all work together, creating a single giant telescope. ALMA uses techniques known as interferometry. Basically, all the antennas are pointed at the same point in the sky. 
The antennas pick up a signal from the target in the universe and join forces to analyze the signal by combining radio waves from the antennas using a supercomputer. With this, researchers can obtain extremely high-precision images. This is not an easy feat. Synchronization between all antennas has to be perfect, with only a millionth of a million margin for error. With this incredible technology, researchers found C3H2, a strange organic molecule that doesn't exist terrestrially on Earth and can only be seen in a laboratory. C3H2 was first discovered in clouds of gas and dust throughout the Milky Way. This includes the Taurus molecular cloud. What makes this molecule even more amazing is that it may be a precursor to more complex compounds. It could form or even feed possible life on Titan, much like the organic molecules that formed life on Earth three and a half billion years ago. C3H2 is the only other cycle or closed-loop molecule beside benzene to have been found in Titan's atmosphere. Closed-loop molecules like it are important because they form the backbone rings for the nuclear bases of DNA and RNA things that are critical compounds for life's functions. While C3H2 is not known to be used in any modern-day biological reactions, NASA says the molecule could be an indicator for life, since something has to be generating an unstable molecule. If there is life on Titan, it would be incredibly different from the water-based life forms we know. The Mission So, the mission. NASA was so intrigued by this new discovery on Titan that it wants to study the moon in more detail. In 2019, NASA announced the Dragonfly mission, with a planned launch in 2027. After its launch, it would take nine years for it to reach Titan and arrive in 2036. The estimated cost of the mission is a staggering $1 billion, but this is because the Dragonfly is a very unique spacecraft design. It is much like a large quadcopter drone, it has two rotors on each end of the spacecraft's four corners, hence the name Dragonfly. When it finally arrives on Titan in the year 2036, it will need to travel to different areas for study. In contrast to most probes NASA has made in the past, they have decided to take advantage of the Moon's low gravity and have the vehicle flying around this time rather than roving the surface. The cool thing is that this will be the first time NASA flies a multi-rotated spacecraft for science. Equipped with a radioisotope thermoelectric generator, the Dragonfly will run on the heat from the decaying plutonium-238 battery, turning it into electricity. This nuclear battery means that Dragonfly can theoretically operate on Titan for decades. Also, with its impressive maneuverability, it can always be moved to keep Dragonfly on the side of the planet closest to Earth for optimum communication, which already takes about 70 to 90 minutes each way. With a projected mission of 2.7 years, Dragonfly will take advantage of the dense atmosphere protecting it from harsh rays and radiations, flying to many different locations unhindered. Its mission is to collect and examine surface material for chemistry experiments. It'll also check the planet to see if it's possible for humans to colonize one day. Since the building blocks of life are on Titan, Dragonfly will also study how far pre-life chemistry has progressed to get a better understanding of how life evolved on our own planet. This mission to Titan could finally give us the definitive answer to how life evolved from organic molecules. The discoveries on Titan can be revolutionary and just may change everything we know about life. Now all that's left is to build the spacecraft and prepare for the unexpected. Even if we don't find what we're looking for on Titan, it will provide us with more data on the moon that we did not know before. That's what science is, right? A giant book of blank pages and we as scientists trying to fill it with all the answers. Who knows, maybe sometime soon we'll start a chapter on the science of alien life. What about you? What do you think we'll find on Titan? Let us know in the comment section below. Till next time!